Do you guys like, do you guys like when he drops an F bomb on occasion because it's so out of character for him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys do so well at home that maybe you don't aren't able to quite do on the road? Uh, I, I think our game travels. I think that we, no matter what arena, no matter what time of the day it is, we just try to be the same solid basketball club. And I think if we look at it from that way, it really doesn't matter if we're home on the road, home or at home or on the road. I feel like definitely when you know a six zero run could turn into a 12 14 zero run at home. That's just for any team. But you know if you just play solid throughout the game. No matter where you play, I think that puts you in a good position to, you know, to be successful and just to be consistent no matter what. So we just, our focus really is just trying to play as best as we can no matter what. Steve, Steve said he thought you guys play with more pace at home, a little faster at that home. Is that do you see that? No, nah, I don't really see it because, I, like I said, um, I don't want to make this a home and a, a, a road thing. I think we lock in and we play our brand of basketball um, in any city at any time. Um, you know, but when we when we lock in, really lock in every possession. You know, it really doesn't matter who we play. And, uh, you know, but we when we come out there, and, you know, we're too relaxed and you know uh, too satisfied. You know, that's when teams creep back in. That usually happens. Uh, you know, a little bit too much for us as a team. So it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we play. We just got to be on every possession. How key was Draymond's effort yesterday on defense? And do you think Charles took your advice? went downstairs to talk to him? No, I don't think so, but um, Draymond's just attention to detail, his uh, athleticism, his long arms, um, and his communication. You know, he's kind of playing the back line of defense. He's talking to everybody through stuff, especially when we play the perimeter uh, or you're in the team. You know, uh, where you got to guard stuff at the three-point line, it's hard to kind of, you know, uh, get into help position and, you know, uh, slide over, kind of take a charge or get a block shot because you're paying, paying attention to the perimeter and Draymond's behind you just, um, you know, kind of tell you what, what to do and knowing that he has, he got, uh, he's had the run to help you on the backside, gives you more confidence on the ball. As someone who's so much about the way Looney gets, some, what impresses you most about the way Looney takes advantage of, you know, every minute and chance that he gets to do something for you? I'm just excited that Loon comes in and works on this game every day. And when his opportunity comes, he knows that the work that he puts in, um, we know that we know the work that he puts in on a day-to-day -day basis. He trusts in that when he gets the opportunity to play, and uh, so I'm just proud that he comes in and works like a true pro every day. Yeah, I mean, there's some so... that a lot of people expected to be. I mean, these are two best teams in the Western Conference. Are you surprised that there hasn't been a game yet where all the teams have played? their best basketball that they've been, you know, no games within single digits in this series? Well, I just think the, I just think that, uh, yeah, that's kind of irritating. <laughs> I just think the style of play the NBA is in right now, um, there's a lot of three-point shots, there's a lot of space. So, you know, close games, um, especially on the Western Conference, because we got a lot of teams that play small and play fast, um, it's going to be a game, it's going to be, it might be a 10, 15-point game, but throughout the, the meat of the game is always pretty tight, you know what I'm saying? So a team that shoot a lot of threes, us, Houston, New Orleans, uh, even San Antonio sometimes, they just make the threes. Just like uh, Utah teams in the playoffs, um, you know, just so many, the three-pointer is such a, a huge part of the game now that, you know, it can easily go from six to 16 and 17 in a matter of seconds and then you have a game. So I wouldn't say it's just not, when the games aren't good, it's just the fact that the, the style of play you know, it causes teams to pull away a little faster. Clay says he never hears Steph really curse at all or say anything along those lines. What does it mean when Steph unleashes an F bomb like that? I heard him curse a couple times, so. <laughs> but when he went, when he releases an F bomb, I mean, of course I like it, you know, it's just, that word is just an important word when you're playing basketball, you know, it's, it means so much. Um, but I'm, I just like his excitement for the game and his intensity, and uh, our crowd feeds off of that, and we feed off our crowd. Why does it mean so much when you're playing basketball? Because you could just say if you miss a shot, or <laughs> yeah, when you make a layup, it just means so much. <laughs>